Last episode, I built Mesa Market, and while building Mesa Market, I may or may not have used all of my terracotta on the build itself. So, in order to actually sell things at Mesa Market, I had to go back to the Mesa to mine a whole bunch of terracotta. While mining the terracotta, I came across a Mesa mine shaft that had glow berries. So, we now it's actually it's really nice to have because a lot of people have wanted to build with glowberries I know Kiko-san has at least so having glowberries means that I can sell them for some diamonds and diamonds are always nice to have I sold the glowberries for quite a steep price of seven diamonds but if you think about it if you get one glowberry you can make as many glowberries as you want so I think that price is actually pretty reasonable since you can get as much as you want Away from glowberries, you could actually kind of find this to be funny, but I still haven't really defeated the wither yet. Uh, I helped defeat the wither in um, Teencraft Season 1, which if you didn't know, wasn't recorded, but I have not really defeated the wither, so I don't have the achievement for it. So this episode, I kind of want to get some wither skulls, maybe buy some wither skulls from Sharpshaboom so that I can fight the wither and finally get the achievement. Um, it's called the beginning. Um, I don't know why it's called that, uh, but I guess defeating the ender dragon is called the end. So defeating the wither is called the beginning. But either way, I'm gonna go fight the wither and hopefully get the achievement. Hopefully not die to it. So there has actually been a change of plans. Uh, it turns out that Sharpshaboom wants to fight the Wither for beacons and I want to fight the Wither for an achievement. So we have decided that we're just gonna fight the Wither together so that it is easier and we can both get what we want. Okay. So, what I usually do is I put my spawn and my, like, backup stuff and the cow here, and then I, uh, I spawn the winner, like, right over here. See, this is where it's, uh, uh, yeah. the grab is so destroyed. Yeah. And, uh, that way I can, like, come in, uh, fly in, shoot it, or, um, hit it with my sword, then get out and use my bucket. Um, and usually it doesn't follow me back. Okay. So, should I spot it? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, there's a cow and I want to kill it real quick. Okay. I have just, uh, I have a bunch of extra signs, I'm just gonna place them randomly down. What here do I not need? I don't, I don't care. Okay. So, I guess I'll just spawn it right here. Even though I've done this so many times, I still get really nervous when I do it. Okay, here we go. To so be really ready to fly off. Okay. Oh, I thought I told him, dang it. Okay. Actually, I didn't know. Okay. Yo, get out of there. You're gonna need because I have a feeling you're low. Like, I have three hearts. I'm not that low. You only, you only have three hearts? Well, that's because of, I got withered already. Well, I drink milk and then 
Like immediately. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot that it goes higher. It's so annoying. Dude, don't don't fly attack it. You gotta land, shoot at it, then that's right. Because otherwise it just gets too high. Oh jeez. At least I didn't die in the battle zone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, then you were lost and stuff. Yeah, that would have been bad. Well I, I forgot where the cow was. The cow is right next to the bed. Right okay. here. And you can also get it from uh you can also get it from goats. Okay. Oh yeah, goats, I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh that's why you said that yeah, actually I can make a marker right here. That's why you said that goats can be milked. There. Actually, oh, actually I actually have three buckets. Could I have one, actually? Yeah. I just have a backup. Oh, yeah. That's, I think that's how I survived a little bit longer than you, maybe. I don't know. backup? Yeah. Uh, is there a crafting table? Uh, yeah, it's right down here. Okay. Oh, and you tried to stack it, too. Oh, okay. Oh, dude, over here. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna put my trident away. It's not gonna be that useful. Here. Right there. Is there an ender chest here? Um, I don't know. I'll just put it in this chest, which is full of junk. And hopefully I won't forget it.
if you somehow didn't know, this the title of this video is Withering Heights, which is the achievement uh, in Java. It's the achievement in Java once you first spawn the Wither in a world. Um, it's actually not an achievement in Bedrock, but I decided to name the video Withering Heights because it sounds pretty good, I guess. Um, but then I decided to, after I named this, I decided to, um, go and look up why it is called Withering Heights. Why the achievement is called Withering Heights. And it is because, um, there's actually a, there's an old novel called Withering Heights, I think. And, um, the achievement is just that but Withering Heights. So it's just based off of the title of a novel. So that's pretty cool, I guess. I bet there's also a lot, a lot of other um, achievement names that are based off of something like novels and other stuff. But anyway, I am going to go and check the profits for my glowberries to see if I have got any diamonds yet. Okay, I'm gonna go check to see if I have any profit from my glowberries. Both of the people who are still playing, um, Teamcraft, Sharp Boom, and Kikosan, they, um, I think they both wanted glowberries. So, um, I think they're probably gonna sell out if they haven't already. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um... Kiko-san gave me five diamonds and two stacks of white concrete. I guess that's okay since white concrete on, or just concrete on Teamcraft right now costs um, two diamonds per stack. So I guess that's actually kind of worth nine diamonds. Uh, and also, I really need white concrete for my base. So that's that's probably why she gave it to me. Let's see if Sharpshaboom has given me uh, the diamonds for the glowberries. I know he wanted them, so I assume he has. Okay, yep. And, oh jeez. <laughs> I kinda knew these would come back and uh, come back and I would get them again because I spent, uh, I bought rockets with them. So maybe I can, maybe I can buy more rockets of these. I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, I think that is it for this episode. I got quite a bit done for me at least. I got glowberries and I um, helped Sharpspoon fight and defeat the Wither. So yeah, um, yeah, that is it. Stay tuned for episode. 27 that's quite a bit i guess although not really compared to other servers but yeah um that's it bye actually no there's one more thing that i have to mention before i wrap up this episode and it is at the 1.17.4 those numbers are probably wrong but i think you get the point the 1.17.4 update um, just came out on Bedrock Edition Minecraft, and apparently, Tinkraft is outdated, so I can't join it right now. So, Sharpshaboom, if, uh, like, I don't know if you can do this, but you might be able to update the server, which would, I think, allow me to, or allow other people, and me, to get into Tinkraft once again. Um, but I think that update, the 1.17.4 update, I'm not entirely sure about this, but it might add 1.18 snapshots to Bedrock Edition Minecraft, and that would be really cool, because just 1.18 in general looks really cool, and I'm really excited for it. But that is all I have to say. Uh, bye.